Hey guys, I'm um, going to do a uh, new video, something I haven't done before. And um, first we'll start off, uh, right now on my car, I have one switch for all of my emergency lights. Which is great, you know, it's, it's simple, just flip that switch, everything comes on. But me being myself, I want more. You know, I... I'm not going to go out and spend up like $100 to buy a real nice switch box and have to rewire everything. I'm going to take what I already have and just add a few more things. So what I did is I went onto this website called Southwest Public Safety. You'll have to bear with me a minute with the camera. You can see SWPS.com. You can just go to this link right here and then you can go into separate switches, but I bought three of these have a shield switches. Here's one of them. The other two are still on their way. They should be here tomorrow. But it's a lighter rocker switch on, off, and you have your ground power in and then your power out at the bottom here. It's rated at 20 amps and it comes on red when it's turned on. Now have, um, this is actually made by, let me see if I can't find the company here. And you really can't see it. It says Carling Technologies on it. Um, that's who makes this sw actual switch. Uh, it's $15 per switch. Uh, it was 20 it's down to 15 now. I believe it's on sale. Uh, 20 amps rated 18 volts, lighted. Uh, they have different ones. Uh, like this one is um, down is on, center is off, and up is on. This one, down is off, center is on, and then all the way up is on. So it's progressive. So you can have, uh, like on your first on, um, you can turn on uh, like two red lights. And then your second on, progressive, uh, when you hit that, it'll keep the two red lights on and it'll turn on uh, like two white lights, for instance. They have a momentary rocker switch, and then they just have a blank panel if you have a uh, box with, uh, or uh, some kind of um, center console with them on it. Uh, here's the dimensions. It's 13 sixteenths of an inch wide by 1 and 7 sixteenths of an inch tall. Keep these dimensions in mind, um, because, let me put my tripod back down here, I just have a miniature tripod, because I went to Radio Shack and bought myself a little project box. The, this is six inches across, three inches deep, and two inches tall. Now, it's very important that this is two inches tall because the hole I need to cut is one and seven sixteenths of an inch. So, as you can see here, it will fit in there. So, I just slide it right in. And it actually has these little, um, I don't know, they're, they're pretty much friction, but uh, they keep friction on it. But you can see here, like on this one, they bend in. See the actual, the actual edge of the box. Let me get a screwdriver here. You, when you slide it in, this will catch and it will push it down. As you can see here, it has some give to it. It has quite a bit of give to it, actually. So that when you slide it all the way in, your lid, or wherever you're sliding it into, will rest just under this lip right under here. Um, that makes it really nice because it makes it flush. You can't see any of the wiring. Um, so about... I. Bought three switches for fifteen bucks, forty-five dollars. This kit box I think was like three, four bucks, maybe three seventy-five. Uh, it has a lid, and that lid comes off, and you can see the inside of it. You have a couple different mounting points. You have um, these kind of rails going down the side of it. You know that's all great, but I'm going into the uh, side of the box. So this part right here. I'm going to mount a bracket on it, and then I'm going to mount that bracket on the top of my siren. So I'm going to have my siren box here, and then my switch box. The reason I didn't do it this way is if you look at the back of the box, how deep it goes, 
it rests just about right there. And you can see that's not much room for all my wiring and everything. That's definitely not enough room, and I don't want to leave the back of this open. So I'll go into this side, and as you can see here in the side, I'll have just a skosh more room to work with all my wiring back in here. Uh, also, it comes with um, this metal tin, so I can put a metal tin over it if I want to. I don't think I'm going to use that. Um, it's just more stuff with it. It's, it gives you more options. So that was that was pretty cheap. Um, also, what I bought, I went out and bought, I think these were like two, three bucks each. It comes with uh, six connectors, three male, three female, and they are 10 to 12 gauge. I'm running approximately 15 amps um, with all my LEDs total, so I want to use these so I can use just a little bit bigger gauge wire to have all the power go. You can see a male connector here and a female connector here. The way I'm going to have this work is already for all my lights I have one main power wire. Uh, probably be easier if I drew it out for you. But yeah, let me, let, me, let me draw it out here for you real quick. Essentially it's, uh, if any of you are firefighters, it's like a gated Y or a water thief. So I have one main power wire here. That's my main power wire, that one. Now on it, in three different spots, I have connectors. Uh, they're the kind that you can crimp over pre-existing wires. So now I have one, two, three. Now those wires go off to certain lights. One, two, and three. Now on the other end of this, right here, is my pre-existing switch. My on-off switch, and then you have it going to the power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially take out this switch and this section of wire. And I'm going to have one for switch one on my box, two for switch two on my box, and three for switch three on my box. So the way I'm going to wire it up is like this. I already pre-drew this out. This is the top of the box. So your switch right here, you're looking at the back of it. So this is the top, on and off. The top of it, according to the wiring diagram, is the ground. So I'm going to take three of these uh, quick connects, wire them up together, one to the next to the next. So I'll be three right there, and then my last wire is going to go off for my ground. I'm going to do the same exact thing with my power. One, two, three to the pre-existing power wire that was already going to this switch right here. So this power wire is just being extended to the switch box. And then go into all those. And then it's going to be three separate wires for switch one coming off, corresponding to number one on here, switch two on here, which corresponds to number two on here, and switch three, corresponding to switch three on, or wire three on here. So essentially, I'm going to have three switches, each powering something different. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to have my first switch is going to power my two red talon dash lights along with my two intersection um, LIN3s. My second switch is just going to power my rear LED. And then my third switch is going to light up my grill lights, my wigwags, and my strobes. So it's, it's simple, it's cheap. I'm doing it for under 60 bucks which a normal uh, switch box, three, four switches, can cost you 85, 90 bucks, easy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to be taking uh, pictures, videos. I'm going to videotape myself doing this, and I'll upload it after I upload this. Take care, guys.